Brad Fay, and I just wanted to kind of address the ownership question. It's been out there for a long time. And first of all, I just want to thank all of you for coming out, and I want to thank you for being patient. Uh, this was a unique opportunity that uh, presented itself to us. We kind of stepped in to help out the CHL. They approached us, and as the time has evolved, we've gotten more and more involved, and we will be a part of the Sundogs. Um, but we're, what I want to let you know on the ownership was so hard is it's that theme you see up there, it's your team. And what's made this team successful in the past is when the ownership has been connected to the community. And if you remember the first owners, they moved here. And they were a part of the community. You got to see Eric around, you got to see those guys. And that made a difference. And so what we're doing with ownership is trying to make sure the ownership represents the community. And we're not just looking for investors that want to you know, build the team up, want to be out of town, out of state, and not really care. We want people that live and walk here that you get to see and touch every day. So we're working hard on that, and we're talking to many individuals right now that are very interested. We just can't tell you who they are because if it doesn't work out, they don't want their name out there that they were a part of it and then not a part of it. Um, as of today, we're very, very close with the CHL. We had a great conversation today. We hope to wrap that up in the next few days. And then that will really give us the ability to uh, close the deal with the investors that are interested. And it may take us a year to fill the whole investor group that we want to put together because we don't want one owner, we want a community of owners. We want this team to be a part of the community so that everybody can resonate with the team and it becomes your team. And that's, that's carried through to, to Jerry and how he's building his staff and how he's putting this whole team together. It's your team, and we're trying to do that. So I want to thank you for your patience. Uh, I get that question weekly. Where's the ownership? Are you guys in or are you out? Where are you out? And um, It's kind of been our family model just to lay low, work quietly behind the scenes, and we've done that this year. We've put together, you know, we got Jerry, we got Marco, and they quietly put together a great staff. Um, every one of these guys is top notch and I get great feedback from the community of how great they are to work with, how they're changing it, they're bringing back some good energy, but also some new energy. They've got a lot of new ideas that nobody's thought of before, so um, I want to thank you for your support and your patience in this. And I know it's frustrating. It's frustrating for us. We wish we could have just gone out there and the first 10 or 12 people we called said, sign me up, here's my check, let's go. But it doesn't work like that in this economy. And so we're working hard for that, and there will be a team on the ice, there will be an ownership group, and as soon as we get it assembled, uh, we will make an announcement and let you guys know who those folks are, so that uh, there can be more of a relationship between the ownership and the team, because we really want that to exist. And we're really excited about the year. Marco and Jerry have their marching orders to build a team that the community can identify with. We want the players out there in the community, we want them in the schools, we want people to feel like they can access them. Um, we want to get youth hockey established. Again, there's a market here for youth hockey, and it kind of faded the last couple of years, and that was really, I think, a result of ownership um, and lack of direction that they had. But we have direction, and we're going to put youth hockey back on in Prescott Valley and Prescott and Chino Valley, because those kids exist. I don't know how many kids I hear about that are driving to Phoenix to play hockey. Um, so we're going to try to get that back here and make that be a part of the team. So I, I appreciate it. I listened to all your comments and they were great. Um, we took good notes over here and, and that will be uh, digested and we'll try to implement as many of them as we can. And I just want to thank you for your support and your patience in this process.